I'm holding my most flown EDF ever. I'm talking hundreds of flights now. And Abby's most flown, at least 6S EDF, <laughs> with a couple flights on it. Uh, this is the Viper and the Habu. And with the brand new release of this Habu 6S, there are a lot of questions floating around already. And so I thought I'd answer some of those questions about this jet and compare it, because it's very comparable, to the very awesome 70 millimeter Viper. For a long time, this was marketed as the world's best first 6S jet enter the Habu 6S. Now, this is even more beginner friendly. We're gonna fly both of these jets in this video today, hopefully with a fun spin on things. I'm gonna fly my most flown ever EDF. We think Abby is gonna put her Hello. 6S jet back in the air. She actually likes flying this one. It doesn't make her crazy scared or nervous or anything, especially in comparison. And we're gonna talk about some of the differences. Believe it or not, you know, even though these do both look just like 70 millimeter EDFs and they have basically the same wingspan and from tail to the nose they're very 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 close in uh, size and shape there are some major differences and as we fly these and take a closer look uh, we're gonna let you know a lot more of these differences so let's put these in the air Who's going first? ladies first right okay I'm ready so Abby is at the controls of her Habu ladies first Habu 6s I didn't think I was going to get up. Yeah, I was kind of worried for a second. <laughs> I committed. You I definitely fully committed to that. Oh my god. Started to veer off toward the edge of the runway. So, here, are you full throttle? Sounds like it. Yeah, well that's fine, that's fine. I thought you were just like, I got this, and you do. That's what's amazing about this Habu 6S. Abby was extremely nervous to fly the Viper, but once she got this 6S Habu under her belt, she's like, okay. I'm flying it. Like, you're actually legitimately excited about this one, right? Uh, flying always makes me nervous. Well, sure. <laughs> Remember, Abby is our ground vehicle specialist on the channel. <laughs> so, there are some shining things about the Habu over the Viper, and Abby is flying the Habu to keep things straight here. Uh, guys, they're both 70 millimeter EDFs. They both have safe technology, which is what Abby's flying in right now. It won't let the airplane bank further than that, right there, which she just turned. Uh, you can turn that off with the throw of a switch if you want to do like loops and rolls, and she just did. That's her first time doing any stunt on this, so good job, Abby. I'm so high. That's okay. <laughs> I could see it. I could totally see it. I like flying full throttle on this. They both have, that's that's cool, I like knowing <laughs> that. They both have AS3X, which helps keep it nice and stable in windy conditions, even when you have safe turned off. And they both have telemetry back to the radio. Remember the price difference is $40. The Habu is cheaper. Mm -hmm. One thing the Habu has for it, nice roll, uh, that the Viper doesn't nice roll in the other direction. <laughs> I like the safe switch where you have it. Now, Nate good. moved the safe switch on this one to the back left, although I would like it to be the top left. Okay. Kind of thing. But yeah. that's easier because I just set my throttle and I can let go. So it's much easier. Very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so they also both have telemetry back to your radio, okay? Now, people have asked, why not put flaps on the Habu? Why not put retracts on the Habu? Enter the Viper. <laughs> that is basically the same setup uh, as this Habu 6S with flaps and retracts. And the reason for this on a more beginner friendly jet is that flaps is one more thing that can break that you have to worry about as a beginner that you... Terrible. It's okay. It's okay. That's why you have safe. One less thing to worry about, one less thing to break when you don't have flaps. Now, you know, flaps would be nice, but that's from a more... Why can't I loop on this? Uh, just... I've never looped on a jet, so ah. I don't know. I don't know why I'm struggling. You'll get it. Know. You'll get it. Just keep practicing while I talk about these things. That's, think, that's your think, goal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm struggling. The biggest... I think maybe it's because I'm starting full throttle, so I don't know. Okay, you'll get it. Nose oh. down, dive back. That was just your throttle. Uh, and then the retractable landing gear. The fact that this doesn't have retracts is a huge bonus for this because it increases the durability of those landing gear. Now, 
an added bonus talking about that landing gear and Abby that's a that's a good loop safe on you got it you had it you had it you'll get it you just so the roll rate is high and the wings are shorter yeah, than so most air yeah get it closer and I kind of lost orientation there I could tell I, I could tell okay that's enough loops that's okay <laughs> you, you're beat. doing great I gotta get it back down there you Holy can actually Lord, I'm like a million feet you're, you're really high up there yeah but you're you're doing good the habu not having the retractable landing gear means that you can just snap those landing gear right off of the bottom you can take them off and do hand launch and belly landings to those of you that are really committed to tall grass but if you have semi tall grass or semi short grass but maybe not like golf course quality they actually make optional wheels you can put on this cost a little bit more of course uh, we'll have them linked in the description box below though bigger wheels that'll allow you to well we, we both had to look away for just a second there because uh, uh someone wanted to just say something to us really fast um but the landing gear can you can put the bigger wheels on and then you can take off from slightly taller grass so there's a uh, lot a lot of options okay, I gotta land it. <laughs> now the nice thing too abby you just have that five minute timer going off but uh this can let you know you have a low battery with telemetry so not just your timer we know you're going to have a low battery when that alarm goes off now what abby's doing is she's flying down as far as possible she's lining up her approach to the runway and then what she'll do when she gets in is just slowly bleed off some speed when she lands this i'm going to fly the viper for you guys you got it abby nicely done my goodness that was sheer perfection again i can't believe you did that you just like whip that around yeah you're good you're good you're facing us mostly yeah yeah like back angle toward us you that was awesome what do we call that tokyo drift the last time i didn't mean to this thing comes in hot and that takes a lot of getting used to so the Habu has a lot more going for it for the average beginner. Durability increase. Also, guys, we haven't really talked about this in our videos, but this will fly on a 4S battery or a 6S battery, which means if you want to save money and not fly quite as fast, you can buy a much cheaper 4S battery than the 6S batteries that are required in the Viper. Abby, you ready to film me on the Viper? Ready, I was waiting for you to stop talking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Now they both have a steerable nose wheel, okay? Which is why Abby was able to do those donuts. I see you waving there. <laughs> um, but the benefit of the Viper, it's, it used to be the most beginner friendly, right? But it's now slightly more advanced. So one benefit that you'll have with this is you're gonna get a much faster takeoff. And I'll try to demonstrate that here with full flaps on. Are you ready, Abby? Ready. I don't even think I have safe on this right now. There, much faster takeoff. I just. I absolutely, absolutely love this Viper. It truly is one of my favorite, most predictable things to fly. I'm getting close to 300 flights on this. It is very, very heavily flown. This is the original Viper. This one actually doesn't have telemetry because it's the original, but the one they sell now does. And landing gear, eh, they might all be. <laughs> <down. I don't laughs> they know. work. So I've been hard <laughs> on this landing gear. They, they sometimes work and sometimes don't. That's part of the downside of retractable landing gear. Did I get all three of those to go up? Or no? I think they are. No, they're all down. No. Am I throwing the wrong switch? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I'm not having any luck with those landing gear. It could be on a different switch. I don't know. There's literally a TikTok video of us having, having fun a with good that time switch. With it. You missed it. So that's a downside, but I will never badmouth this Viper because I love it so much. You know what, that you could fix over that. Over 100 miles an hour. Now, I think you're Habu, Abby, and as far as flight performance goes, I believe you have a lot more rudder authority on the Habu than I do on my Viper. Now, maybe I haven't messed with the rudder. Well, very I much. have. I have. I've been able to do those <laughs> snap rolls on the what, one flight I had on, on uh, your Habu. Yeah. Now, I'll say this talking about the Viper. If you're interested in a super high performance EDF, you have more money and a little bit more skill or confidence, the Viper 90 millimeter, in my opinion, has the best rudder authority of them all. There, I just got the front <laughs> wheel to go up. 
<laughs> yeah, they're having issues today. Because normally I can get all three. You guys, so, how long have you had this plane? Like, it's I over two years. Have... Yeah, I over know. Over two years. You, yeah, like. Look at that. The front wheel is up. I got it up. But Let's your see. back two aren't. Okay, I got now the, it's I got down. Them to come down. It's like, I'm going to leave them all three down because I yeah. don't want any of them to get stuck up. Let's do a full throttle pass and then we'll just have a little bit of fun with this. And we have a little treat we're going to try to pull off at the end of this video for you guys. So stick around. After I land, we're going to do something we've probably never done on the channel before. Honestly, it's worthy of its own video, but here you go. That's a full throttle pass. Uh, you have a slightly larger battery bay in the Habu, being that this highest recommended that I'd fly on is like a 3200 to 4000 milliamp uh, battery. And I've got a 3200 in there now. Let's let's do my favorite thing with this and your favorite thing with this before we land it. Spaceship mode. Spaceship mode. Activate. Engage. I've climbed a little bit because I was going so fast. <laughs> Spaceship mode is full flaps, and we love it because <laughs> when it's coming toward you, it looks because they're like vertical down. It looks like a spaceship coming in for a, a landing. The mothership. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I love both of these jets. I absolutely love them both. And if you're like on the fence or uh, we actually have some people talking about this stuff in the comments of our videos. Yeah, I had someone I, ask me on Instagram buy? reels which one they should buy. Uh, if you have a little bit more skill right. and a little bit more confidence in your flying ability, the Viper is the one to buy. But if you're very much a beginner and you You've never flown 6S before. Woo! That was pretty nice, wasn't it? That was pretty nice. Do a 360. Uh, let's see. How, <laughs> what can I do? A Tokyo drift? Here it we go. Was, it was only a 180. going to get it? Nope. Ah, I don't have enough I speed. Win. You do win the Tokyo drift slide. I don't know. Who had the better landing? Leave better it in the landing. comments. Ooh. The better landing. Okay, guys, we have a really <laughs> sweet surprise in mind for you. Stick around. We'll continue to talk about some of these differences. But yeah, the Habu is kind of more beginner friendly now. This was as beginner friendly as it got for 6S. Now we have the Habu. Alan, our buddy, just picked up a Habu and it'll be his first 6S jet. I'm excited. It'll be yeah. linked down in the description box below for you guys to check out. Both of these and everything we're flying on will be linked down there for you. Okay, ta-da, here's the surprise. We are gonna try to fly together. We never fly together and a 6S jet together. So, excited? Nervous. I'm excited. Safe, safe is on. Which way you wanna take off? Into the sun? What do you guys think? Hold on, don't take off yet. Let's park these beauties together. <laughs> this is so awesome. Abby and I are about to fly two 6S jets together. We've never done this. Never, no. Maybe never any jet. I am gonna follow you. Well, you shouldn't be. You're good. I'm not going to do flaps so I can try to... Um... It's, you're uh, responsible <clears throat> for any crash that could happen. Sure. Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at us go. Oh that was beautiful. You're already ahead of me. No, I'm not. I just I backed off the throttle some. Which way are you going? I'm going to follow you. I don't know. You're the, you're the lead, okay? You are the lead. No, it's not. You've We've established you're the lead and I am just gonna keep up with you. The lower you can fly, the better, because this is a GoPro. And GoPro ain't no good for airplanes. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm a stolen monopod. Oh, stupid monopod. I'm gonna catch up to you here. We're gonna get these together. I'm flying in safe just so I can also glance ahead at Abby's jet since she's the leader I have to be able to look away from mine you know long enough to um, catch up to her so safe is good for formation flying or just flying together if you can get us in a nice slow pass and I'll I'll stick right with you get in as low as you can because right now they're just little dots out there look at that <laughs> that's amazing look at us go <laughs> I'm so happy. I know. I'm Your so happy. Is kind of contagious. <laughs> it's so awesome. We're flying two super powerful 100 mile an hour 6S jets together. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. The profile. Are you full throttle cranking it? Because I am. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's so amazing. Can we roll them together? 
Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. You can do just, your own just thing. the fact that we're together. But let's not push our luck today. How about that? Every day we push our luck. Right. We fly an RC plane. Full throttle. full throttle, get in a little low if you can. And I'm right behind you. Oh, I think you're a little faster. Could be the battery. I don't know, but I feel like you're definitely faster. I was a little farther away, but. So yours screams a little louder. You have a 10 bladed uh, fan or prop in there. I have a 12 bladed prop, which is part of the reason yours is a little bit louder. Mine has that more realistic EDF or well, just jet sound, turbine sound. I'm gonna come in a little lower for everybody just cause nice Abby, nice pass. Just as far as this GoPro goes, I want everyone to see a nice low pass. So as you're flying up there, I want to see what this looks like if I get in really close. Please don't hit me. No, no, not that close. <laughs> not that close. How's the GoPro action, guys? Could we do more videos like this? Would no. you Would you like to see me and Abby? They're, all this is the specs. Well, would you like us to see uh, to see us flying together? more like this or or no i mean i can try to crop in some when i'm editing but hey we're trying we're trying that's why we that's why we do our big camera setup that we have on the channel so we can get you guys a better view but we thought this would be fun just to try it we're flying two 6s jets together why don't i think about landing that's cool isn't it it looks great i hope I hope I can get a crop in on this just so you guys can actually see it. I really hope there's something because this is the best. This is like the most fun Clear. I've ever had. Didn't we fly the F-15 and F-16 flying together, together or was that separate? That was separate, I think. I don't know that we ever we flew know. together. We flew Remember something. The day the... We, we saw the actual jets fly by? Yeah. Did we fly together? Then? Maybe. Oh my I, it's fine. It's fine. You're the leader, which means you always stay true to your path. And I then don't have a path. Well, yeah. <laughs> the path of least resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that all of our paths in life? <laughs> okay, let's bring it in nice and low and slow. And um, I gotta think about landing. Me too. I'll just follow He's you. Landing first. I really should because I have a shorter flight time. All right, well, land on this path. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in on this pass, and then it's Abby. So I'm gonna focus on landing now, and then Abby will bring it in. And uh, as we do, I wanna say a massive thanks to God for getting us out here flying together. Also, a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters for everything you guys do. I just wanted to say that before we land. I'm gonna land mine now. You guys are so and, uh, awesome. AMA will be linked down there too. <laughs> yeah, flying together like this, yeah. you guys. Fly safe. Nice smooth landing. I got a three point landing, but I did come in a little faster than I wanted. Abby, you can go ahead and start getting your approach ready for landing. I'll be off the runway by the time you're ready because we're both down on the left side. So taxi and mine in right now. I'll be out of the way for sure. And I'm not going to say anything to her. She, you guys saw that last landing. She is like just dominating with the Habu. Although we're all capable of having bouncy landings, but she has been doing really good. So there's the Viper, you guys, an amazing 70 millimeter EDF 6S. And we'll see if we can record Abby. This is the easiest recording I've ever done, but probably the worst. <laughs> You're a little far out. You're over the grass. Oh, oh, okay. All right. It was close. It was close. Oh, I thought you were. You weren't supposed to speak. Yeah, you're right. You spoke I spoke. You freaked me out and yeah. I yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> Guys, there we have the Habu 6S 70 millimeter Tokyo Drift jet by Abby. Actually, yours turns on a dime in comparison to mine. And then we have my Viper 70 millimeter. These together are absolutely amazing. If you're looking at 6S jets, there's your first one. There's your second one. Nice, nice job. <laughs> <laughs> They're both linked in the description box below. I hope I answered some questions for you guys and just helped you decide which jet is best for you. If this looked like fun and you want to get into the RC hobby, but you don't want to get into something that goes 100 miles an hour as your first thing, which is what I highly recommend, let us know in the comments. We'll get a discussion going and I'll make a strong recommendation for you. Uh, just let us know what your budget is. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.